Firefighting foam is a foam used for fire suppression. Its role is to cool the fire and to coat the fuel, preventing its contact with oxygen, resulting in suppression of the combustion. Firefighting foam was invented by the Russian engineer and chemist Alexander Loran in 1902. The surfactants used must produce foam in concentration of less than 1%. Other components of fire retardant foams are organic solvents, for example, trimethyl trimethylene glycol and hexylene glycol, foam stabilizers, for example, lauryl alcohol, and corrosion inhibitors. Low expansion foams such as AFFF have an expansion rate less than 20 times our low viscosity, mobile, and can quickly cover large areas. Medium expansion foams have an expansion ratio of 20 to 100. High expansion foams have an expansion ratio over 200 to 1000 and are suitable for enclosed spaces such as hangars, where quick filling is needed. Alcohol resistant foams contain a polymer that forms a protective layer between the burning surface and the foam preventing foam breakdown by alcohols in the burning fuel. Alcohol-resistant foams are used in fighting fires of fuels containing oxygenates, for example MTBE, or fires of liquids based on or containing polar solvents. Class of foams, a fire truck demonstrating class of foam in a CAFS system class of foams were developed in mid-1980s for fighting wildfires. Class of foams lower the surface tension of the water, which assists in the wetting and saturation of class of fuels with water. This aids fire suppression and can prevent reignition. Favorable experiences led to its acceptance for fighting other types of class A fires, including structure fires. Class B foams Class B foams are designed for class B fires, flammable liquids. The use of Class A foam on a Class B fire may yield unexpected results, as Class A foams are not designed to contain the explosive vapors produced by flammable liquids. Class B foams have two major subtypes. Synthetic foams Synthetic foams are based on synthetic surfactants. They provide better flow and spreading over the surface of hydrocarbon-based liquids for faster knockdown of flames. They have limited post-fire security and are toxic groundwater contaminants. Aqueous film forming foams, AFFF, are water-based and frequently contain hydrocarbon-based surfactants such as sodium alkyl sulfate, and fluorosurfactant, such as fluorodilimers, perfluorooctanoic acid, FA or perfluoroctane sulfonic acid, FOS. Alcohol-resistant aqueous film-forming foams, RAFFF, are foams resistant to the action of alcohols and can form a protective film. Protein foams Etic protein foams contain natural proteins as the foaming agents. Unlike synthetic foams, protein foams are biodegradable. They flow and spread slower but provide a foam blanket that is more heat resistant and more durable. Protein foams include regular protein foam P, fluoroprotein foam FP, film forming fluoroprotein FFFP, alcohol resistant fluoroprotein foam RFP, and alcohol resistant film forming fluoroprotein RFFFP. Protein foam from non-animal sources is preferred, because of the possible threats of biological contaminants such as prions. Applications Every type of foam has its application. High expansion foams are used when an enclosed space, such as a basement or hangar, must be quickly filled. Low expansion foams are used on burning spills. AFFF is best for spills of jet fuels. FFFP is better for cases where the burning fuel can form deeper pools, and RAFFF is suitable for burning alcohols. The most flexibility is achieved by RAFFF or RFFFP.
RAFFF must be used in areas where gasolines are blended with oxygenates, since the alcohols prevent the formation of the film between the FFFP foam and the gasoline, breaking down the foam, rendering the FFFP foam virtually useless. History of Firefighting Foams This section contains content that is written like an advertisement. Please help improve it by removing promotional content and inappropriate external links, and by adding encyclopedic content written from a neutral point of view. February 2015 Learn how and when to remove this template message Water has long been a universal agent for suppressing fires, but is not best in all cases. For example, water is typically ineffective on oil fires, and can be dangerous. Firefighting foams were a development for extinguishing oil fires. In 1902, a method of extinguishing flammable liquid fires by blanketing them with foam was introduced by Russian engineer and chemist Alexander Loran. Loran was a teacher in a school in Baku, the center of the Russian oil industry at that time. Impressed by large, difficult to extinguish oil fires that he had seen there, Loran tried to find a liquid substance that could deal effectively with them. He invented firefighting foam, which was successfully tested in experiments in 1902 and 1903. 1. In 1904 Loran patented his invention, and developed the first foam extinguisher the same year. The original foam was a mixture of two powders and water produced in a foam generator. It was called chemical foam because of the chemical action to create it. In general, the powders used were sodium bicarbonate and aluminium sulfate, with small amounts of sapnin or licorice added to stabilize the bubbles. Handheld foam extinguishers used the same two chemicals in solution. To actuate the extinguisher, a seal was broken and the unit inverted, allowing the liquids to mix and react. Chemical foam is a stable solution of small bubbles containing carbon dioxide with lower density than oil or water, and exhibits persistence for covering flat surfaces. Because it is lighter than the burning liquid, it flows freely over the liquid surface and extinguishes the fire by a smothering, removal slash prevention of oxygen, action. Chemical foam is considered obsolete today because of the many containers of powder required, even for small fires. In the 1940s, Percy Levin Julian developed an improved type of foam called aerofoam. Using mechanical action, a liquid protein-based concentrate, made from soy protein, was mixed with water in either a proportioner or an aerating nozzle to form air bubbles with the free-flowing action. Its expansion ratio and ease of handling made it popular. Protein foam is easily contaminated by some flammable liquids, so care should be used so that the foam is applied only above the burning liquid. Protein foam has slow knockdown characteristics but it is economical for post-fire security. In the early 1950s, high-expansion foam was conceived by Herbert Eisner in England at the Safety in Mines Research Establishment, now the Health and Safety Laboratory, to fight coal mine fires. Will B. J. Misson, a Pennsylvania mining engineer, read about the proposed foam in 1952 requested more information about the idea. He proceeded to work with the U.S. Bureau of Mines on the idea, testing 400 formulas until a suitable compound was found. In 1964, Walter Kidd and Company, now Kidd, bought the patents for high-expansion foam. In the 1960s, National Foam, Inc. developed fluoroprotein foam. Its active agent is a fluorinated surfactant that provides an oil-rejecting property to prevent contamination. In general, it is better than protein foam because its longer blanket life provides better safety when entry is required for rescue.
Fluoroprotein foam has fast knockdown characteristics and it can also be used together with dry chemicals that destroy protein foam. In the mid-1960s, the U.S. Navy developed aqueous film forming foam, AFFF. This synthetic foam has a low viscosity and spreads rapidly across the surface of most hydrocarbon fuels. A water film forms beneath the foam, which cools the liquid fuel, stopping the formation of flammable vapors. This provides dramatic fire knockdown, an important factor in crash rescue firefighting. In the early 1970s, National Foam Incorporated invented alcohol resistant AFFF technology. RAFFF is a synthetic foam developed for both hydrocarbon and polar solvent materials. Polar solvents are combustible liquids that destroy conventional firefighting foam. These solvents extract the water contained in the foam, breaking down the foam blanket. Hence, these fuels require an alcohol or polar solvent resistant foam. Alcohol resistant foam must be bounced off of a surface and allowed to flow down and over the liquid to form its membrane, compared to standard AFFF that can be sprayed directly onto the fire. In 1993, Bombs Castorine of Rome, New York developed a wetting agent with superior cooling properties that is effective on class A, class B, class D as well as pressurized and three-dimensional fires involving both hydrocarbon-based fuels and polar solvents such as alcohol and ethanol. This wetting agent, all classified as a firefighting foam, was first marketed under the name of PyroCool. The patented formula was awarded the 1998 Presidential Green Chemistry Award as a biodegradable alternative to AFFF and RAFFF and other foams and wetting agents. It is now marketed under the name Novikulov, Universal Extinguishing Foam. Novikulov is applied at 0.4% for class of fires and 0.5% for class B and class D fires. Novikulov is biodegradable. In 2010, Orchide International of France developed the first FFHPF, the highest performing fluorine free foam. The foam has achieved a 97% degradability rating and is currently marketed by Orchide International under the brand name Blue Foam. The foam is used at 3% both on hydrocarbon and polar solvent fires. Health concerns studies have shown that FOS is a persistent, bioaccumulative, and toxic pollutant. It was added to Annex B of the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants in May 2009. Regulations in the United States, Canada, European Union, Australia, and Japan have banned the new production of FOS based products, including firefighting foams. 3M phased out production of FOS in 2002 over toxicity concerns. One study, published in 2015, found that firefighters were more likely to have fluorinated surfactants in their bloodstream. In 2016, the U.S. Air Force paid $4.3 million for a water treatment system for residents downstream of Peterson Air Force Base.